We're off in a minute. We're going to cut away, let you hear the DDO, call out the final countdown. Enjoy the launch, everybody. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage EAP, décollage. Mettre à bord son domino. And so we are underway. Did you see at 18:52 local time and right on time, Arian 5 began her mission, lifting up beautifully, showing a lot of power right from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, beginning her second mission of the year, the 2010 ATV going to the International Space Station. Beautiful shots, always impressive for the people at the observation sites around the base, in their cars, around the beaches, Ariane lifting off in her trail of gold. She's making a turn now, she's gonna pass overhead. We're about 15 kilometers from a launch pad, and even here you can still feel the sensation of launch. But if you're watching from that closed viewing station, which is only five kilometers away, you can really experience that sensation of the acoustic noise from those two solid rocket boosters as they provide right now 90% of a thrust, propelling the launch along its trajectory at ever higher velocity. It really is quite sensational to witness there in Toucan. How many uh, launches have you witnessed? I've been fortunate to witness two from there, plus tonight, plus tonight from here. 777 tons is Ariane's weight at liftoff. The DDO is saying that everything is okay on board. She's burning, if you can believe it, five tons of fuel every second. Five tons of fuel every second. 2.5 tons in each booster, plus the core stage, the lower stage, burning another 300 kilos per second. The launcher now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we'll soon begin to see. We are in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn so you can follow Ariane. Right now, the first flight phase, the single Vulcan core stage burning with the boosters. The boosters are going to burn for another four or five seconds, and then they will be extinguished. And you'll see them probably, ah, uh, it looks like the extinction of the boosters. You can see them falling way on either side. The orange, the orange lights are the boosters flaving out, and the single point of light in the middle of your screen is Ariane continuing to burn. Yes, the DDO has announced the separation of the two solid rocket boosters, and coming at a time at uh, 65 kilometers in altitude. Take a look, Simon, at the left side of your screen. On the upper left, you have the cursor crawling up a line. Below that, some letters and some numbers, A and V. Can you explain? Yes, uh, so looking at this screen, this is Ariane's trajectory. It's showing us how the flight is progressing. The curve, it's a computer simulation of the actual trajectory. And that white dot on the curve, this is the actual position of a launch vehicle right now. There, there are actually two trajectories. One is the optimal trajectory and the real-time trajectory. As long as we're one on top of the other, we're right where we should be, right? Exactly. Superimposed, perfect. So the V means velocity. And right now, we are traveling at 2.4 kilometers per second. And the A, this is the altitude. So now we're at 106 uh, kilometers already. We're out of the Earth's atmosphere, or will be shortly, which means the fairing can be jettisoned. There it is, coming right on time at about 110 kilos. We're using a new fairing separation system tonight, aren't we? That's right. Uh, and in the past few years, Ruex based in Switzerland, the Ariane 5 fairing manufacturer, <coughs> they have been developing a new system to support the fairing separation event. In this new system, with the aid of pyrotechnics, the fairing first separates from the Ariane uh, around its uh, circular base. Happens very, very quickly, doesn't very it? Very quickly indeed. 56 uh, milliseconds to be precise. And during this time of separation, it's aided by a series of of uh, very precisely tuned springs around the body of Ariane. So at this point, we can say the fairing has been separated. Only by a few millimeters, Mo. Then a command is sent to separate the fairing two halves. The whole event is over in less than uh, 100 milliseconds. Now, they wanted also a new design, a shock reduction system, a low shock. Fairing, yes, uh, uh, exactly. The, the whole concept, <laughs> this endeavors to minimize the shock environment transmitted to the Ariane's passengers. Today, it's the first mission of this system, so uh, a special hello to the whole work team in Switzerland. 
the new shock reduction system was five years in the making. The fairing separated first horizontally, then pushed up and away laterally. We're in the second powered flight phase, the single core engine burning. Simon, what's the role of the single uh, core stage? Well, the EPC, this is the main cryogenic stage, and it, uh, for some details, it's 5.4 meters in diameter, and it's 31 meters long. It's powered by one Vulcan 2 engine that burns liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The Vulcan 2 engine provides up to 1,400,000 newtons of thrust in the vacuum of space. And its nozzle, it's, uh, it's gimbaled to, to provide uh, pitch in your uh, pitch in your control for the uh, for the Ariane vehicle. We're doing fine on board, Ariane performing flawlessly. More of the mission in a moment, but for now, the latest news from Ariane Space.